10 superstitions that actually have a scientific explanation to back them up. Life's tough enough as it is. Why mess around and make things even harder for yourself? That's the logic behind superstition. And for those that follow these beliefs closely, tossing a little salt or knocking on wood is a small price to pay to repel all that bad mojo. But for those that aren't so sure about black cats and horseshoes, it's fair to ask, why do we indulge these superstitions in the first place? While superstitions may seem like they came out of nowhere, breaking a mirror is bad enough, why worry about impending doom to follow? Each is rooted in a historical belief. A long time ago, there was a pretty good explanation as to why you should follow these 10 superstitions. Number 1. Walking under a ladder According to superstition, strolling beneath a leaning ladder is a quick way to negatively influence your love life. It's also seen as an open gesture welcoming the devil and other evil spirits. But how did this logic come to be? The ladder superstition is primarily based in religion, as the triangular shape the ladder makes represents the Holy Trinity. Thus, passing through it is seen as disrespectful for God. There's also the physical threat of a tool or a person falling and clocking you in the head. Number 2. Black Cats They may be adorable, but over the years, the black cat has gained a reputation for being omens of bad luck. If one crosses your path, it's said the devil himself is keeping a close eye on you. Though they were once considered bringers of good luck, their association with witches in the Middle Ages completely changed the popular perception of black cats. Many actually believe these animals were witches in disguise, leading to them being chased from homes and villages. Number 3. Opening an Umbrella Indoors Even on the rainiest days, you'd be surprised at how many people wait until they're outside before opening their umbrella. Superstition has it that opening one inside will lead to bad luck raining down upon you. This practice originated in Victorian England, though the reason had nothing to do with bad luck. Early umbrellas were made of metal spokes and notoriously unreliable springs. If opened inside, the umbrella threatened to fly off its handle and strike another person. Number 4. Tossing spilt salt over your left shoulder You've probably seen a handful of people do it, but do you really need to be tossing seasoning at the dinner table? Well, if you don't, the devil standing over your shoulder is sure to stick around. The basis for this superstition is as practical as it is religious, as salt was once considered extremely valuable. If someone under the influence of evil would waste such a priceless resource, so tossing it over your left shoulder and into the devil's face prevents further temptation. Number 5. Breaking a Mirror Oh no! You accidentally just shattered that brand new mirror you got from Pier 1? Not only is there tons of broken glass to sweep up, but now you've got seven years of bad luck to boot. This belief began in ancient Greece, where diviners would condemn the sick if their reflection in a looking glass was distorted. The Romans eventually altered the reading to seven years of sickness and misfortune, as they believed a person's health changed every seven years. Number 6. Unlucky 13 Friday the 13th is considered the unluckiest day of the year, and most tall buildings are built without a 13th floor. But why? Of the infinite combinations of numbers in existence, why is 13 so universally feared? Norse mythology is to blame. As in one legend, Loki, the god of mischief, was the 13th guest at a feast in Valhalla and caused the death of Baldr, god of light and purity. The evils of 13 later became associated with the Last Supper, as Judas Iscariot was also the 13th guest. Number 7. God Bless You Nowadays, not saying God bless you after someone sneezes is merely a social faux pas, a flub that will make you look like a jerk in the office. In the 6th century, however, it was the difference between life and death. During this time, the plague was running rampant throughout Europe, and the sniffles meant that death was usually not far behind. As a result, Pope Gregory mandated that sneezes be followed with God bless you as a prayer for the sick. Number 8. Toasting with Water Raising a glass in celebration should be a show of good faith regardless of what it's filled with, though if it's water, the opposite is true. When toasting someone with water, it actually means you're wishing death upon them. The ancient Greeks were the first to warn of this practice as they would only toast with water to honor the dead. This belief stemmed from the myths of the river Leith, the drinking of its water serving to help the souls of the underworld pass on. 
Number 9. Knocking on Wood Did you tell a friend you're hoping for some good news or that you really hope something terrible doesn't happen? You better find the nearest table or chair and knock twice or else you're going to be in for a bad time. That's because early pagans believed that trees contained fairies, spirits, and other mystical creatures. By knocking on wood, they believed these creatures would grant them good luck or even keep evil spirits from influencing their lives. Number 10. Hanging a Horseshoe An old Irish legend tells of St. Dunstan, a blacksmith who was visited by the devil himself in search of horseshoes. Dunstan decided to nail a searing hot one to his roof removing it only when the devil agreed to avoid any place marked with one. A more grounding explanation comes from the ancient Greeks, as they believed iron's flame-resistant properties made the metal magical. They also shaped the horseshoe to resemble a crescent moon, a symbol of good luck and fertility. Superstitions in a way can be boiled down into a fear of the unknown. Sure, a four-leaf clover probably won't do anything, but why not carry one just to be sure?